So we're starting off a new week. We're going in Whole Foods. We haven't been in here for a while because it's like 40 minutes away from our house. Look at these huge pumpkins. Uh, but they have a lot of seasonal food that I'm looking for. So um, let's go look at these pumpkins real quick though because these are huge. Um, it says they're, yeah, two for $10. Really? No, that's oh, I was gonna say that can't be this. Yeah, because, yeah, no telling how much these cost because these are really big. But we're gonna go in here and see what uh, seasonal foods we can find. Michael, we have found the Rishi tea. We have never seen this brand anywhere, and we don't come to Whole Foods. So they have Rishi tea, and they even have it in the tins. Uh, but they have the boxes like you sent us. Mushroom box. Yeah, we had no idea um, that they sold it. And you know what, honestly, if you hadn't have sent it to us, we wouldn't have paid any attention to it. Okay, I hit the jackpot at Whole Foods on the pumpkin spice stuff. They have, this is their, this is their own brand, the 365. Um, I'm gonna get some of each of this stuff. They have the pumpkin spice latte popcorn, the granola, the cookies, the bites. I'm gonna get one of each of these things. We're looking at the desserts at Whole Foods. They have desserts, vegan cookies and cream. Look at these. Thank you. They're very pretty desserts. And then they have this cake with the tombstones on it. Oh, they have cannoli shells, and you can take them and fill them in. Yeah, it's good. It's turtle cheesecake. It does look good. And then they already have the ones that are already full. They have lots of good-looking desserts. You know, if we go somewhere to eat, I have to show what we got. <laughs> we went to Culver's, of course. Hell's Angels. Yeah, I have a <laughs> biker guy next to me. We um, we spent $14.92. Um, we got two orders of fries and some of your fries. Here, here's Sorry. some of your fries. And Kevin got a single burger like he always gets. And I got fries, but I also got some chicken tenders. And so I'm gonna eat my fries first though. They changed the bags. Mm -hmm. It says sunshine on them. life's better with cheddar. It's cheddar. A cheese. Oh, it's a cheese. Ah. It's a cheese wheel. I take some of these onions off here, though. Yeah, I got chicken tenders and I got barbecue sauce, which I may put on mine. Yeah, who knows if I'll use them or not. But we went to Whole Foods and that was fun. Uh, if we'd had a uh, if we were going straight home, we would have bought cooler, cold stuff, but, mm -hmm. but we're not. Yeah, because they had like um, ice cream bars. They had pumpkin spice ice cream bars. Was that 365 brand? Yeah, 365 brand, and they also had some enlightened ice cream that you've been looking for. That I've been looking for. Um, seems like they had some other 365 ice cream that I would have gotten, but. It's so far away. I would have to Maybe get Maybe wait dry. till the inter this winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or I would have to get dry ice. You know? Yeah. I think you probably would have. Well, ice cream you probably would have had to gotten dry ice. Especially ice cream bars. Yeah. The sandwiches. Yeah. yeah ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, they, they had some neat about ones. Swiped a car. They had some neat ones that look like they came out at the 4th of July. They were... They weren't 365 brand. I, I didn't recognize the brand at all, but they were red, white, and blue. They were cute. Um, but they had, like, it was like a whole other world over there with the brands. Stuff that we've never even heard of. And it was very, um, uh, the, 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 it smelled really good throughout the whole place. It was like they were smoking something. Yeah, they were like smoking, smoking a meat. ham or a beef brisket or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smelled really good. But, all kinds of people they have an area where you can eat in there and so people were getting like full plates i mean it looked like thanksgiving dinner that's how much they were putting on their plates to eat so anyway when i get my chicken tenders out i'll show them to you but for now i'm gonna sit here 
I always eat all my french fries first. Don't you do it that way too? Yeah, because they get cold fast. Uh-huh. Yeah, we don't want them to get cold. Okay, I ate all my fries. Here's the chicken tenders. You get four. Those are four piece. Yeah, you get four. Like that. They look really good. And the barbecue sauce, you're supposed to dip these in the barbecue sauce if you want to. What did they offer? Was did they offer sweet and sour or honey mustard or? They have a like a honey mustard. Uh huh. And I think they have uh, ranch. I don't know what else they have. Mm. They didn't ask. No, well, they asked if I want any sauces. I could have asked them what they had, but I didn't. Mm. Very hot. Very very hot. That's good. So don't be afraid to eat all your fries <laughs> before eating these because. It's gonna stay good and hot, but I just eat it with my fingers. And Here's the barbecue sauce. I opened it because I put it on my burger because it makes it taste like a barbecue bacon burger without the bacon. <laughs> mm. You wanna try some barbecue? Mm -mm. No. No, I like it plain. I really do. I'm weird like that. Like when I eat a hot dog, I would rather just eat the hot dog plain without anything on it. I mean. I could add mustard or whatever, but I just like the taste of the meat. And the bread. And yeah, so for me, I just like the taste of the chicken. I think it's really, really good. So anyway, I wanted to show you what those look like in case I have never shown you before. It, is that a... It's not Legos. It's oh, it is an advent calendar. Can you open it up? I think you can. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a place set. But it's an advent calendar. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder what it all it comes with. But see, Gavin's not into trains. He's not, but that's what it comes with, little cars, little minis. They have these advent calendars out. They have the Lego. And I think it's been out for a while. But then they have... That's That's... That yeah, isn't... Is yeah, advent. that's Horses. an advent. Huh. And they have Hatchimals. And they have Barbie uh, Lego Friends. Lego Friends. Lego friends. Cool for a little girl. That would be good for uh, Amelia. And then they have a little people one, and it's huge. It's $35. So I wanted to show you the, the advent calendars that are out now. They're kind of pricey. Last year we got Ashley a Tsum Tsum one, but I bet you the exact same one will be out this year. I wish they'd come out with one with new characters. These are little cupcakes that they have out at Walmart for Halloween. So they have a bat. And then they have like a werewolf, werewolf a wolf man. And then they have a ghost with a spider. And then they have this cat. It's a like a purple cat with a big yellow bow. I like the yellow bow. And then they have a Frankenstein and then a tombstone. I think I like the Wolfman very much. So those are really cute. They're four forty-eight dollars each. Wolfman uh, and the cat are the cool Yeah, I like, I think I like the purple cat just because it's so, it's, it's so different. We're headed home from Lexington now. We're actually almost to Winchester and uh, there's been some pop-up showers, but I wanted to say, I think it's so funny that for weeks and weeks and weeks i have been looking for the pillsbury toaster strudels in the cinnamon toast crunch and the tricks so i bought both of them at meyer as a matter of fact i bought two boxes of cinnamon toast crunch at meyer because it was the last two boxes so something in me psychologically said if you don't buy both of these you're never going to see them again in your whole life so you better buy both boxes so I bought two of those and I bought one of the tricks and I even bought one of the Cinnabon ones because I thought I'll compare the flavor of the Cinnabon to the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and tell you all how they differ. I thought that would be interesting. I'm interested. Um, so we left Meyer. We put those in cold bags in the trunk. We left Meyer. Go in Walmart. Walmart has them. Tons of them. Walmart has not had them. It's like the, the truck that took them to Meyer took them to Walmart too. It probably was. It probably was. Usually that is not the case. That's not how it works. But this time that is how it works. So I don't know. I didn't even want to look to see how much they were at Walmart because. Move it. Drop my arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Kevin wants to. Kevin, Kevin wants to change lanes. 
Um, you know, once you've spent the money at one store and bought something, then you don't want to like stab yourself in the back by looking at another store and seeing how much you could have saved. So I didn't even look to see, but I'm really hoping that they're good toaster strudels because they're both like family size boxes or something I think that's what they're called and you get instead of getting just six I think you get 12 I think you get two sleeves instead of one sleeve so hopefully they're good I'll be trying them uh, I'll be trying them before this vlog comes out hopefully uh, so you'll know you'll know uh, before this whether I like them or not but I'm hoping they're good because uh, especially since I bought two boxes of those cinnamon toast crunch I'm really um, I'm hoping they're good okay Gavin opened more poopies and he got these let's see it's hard to it's hard to see them which one did you get which one I can't believe we can't it doesn't want to there we go there's one and here's the other one. I'll open it. Okay, okay, look. I'll okay, it. I'll open it. I'll open it. I'll open it. Hold on, Gavin. I she, see it. Honey, let her look at it first because it's hers, okay? Okay. <gasps> you like that one? And what other one did you get, Amelia? This one? Oh, that's cool looking. I'll open it. Hey, there's a that or one of those curdle ones. Let me find it. Where's my, where's my tag thing? So those are cute. We went to Target and we bought Ashley some Tsum Tsum's mystery packs. The yellow ones are from series seven and the red ones are from series eight. But since we've never bought any of them, uh, we figured <laughs> that uh, they would, hopefully she would get some different ones. So who is this? It's Jafar. Jafar? Do you have a Jafar? Mm -mm. What oh. are those? Strawberries? I think no, it's, it's like thrown. It's like oh, I say okay. So that's the first one. And hopefully you get a different one. Oh good. <gasps> oh. I got a Mike Wazowski. Oh. <laughs> And I like the M, the blue M. That is so cute. Okay, so those are from Series 7. This is Series 8. Did you get a Kermit? Kermit the Frog. Do you have a it's Kermit? A oh. With the guitar. Is that what that is? The banjo. And you know what he sings, don't you, Ashley? The rainbow. Something. Why are there so many? Songs about rainbows. Yes. And what's on the other side? I I've love that song. I've never heard a single song about a rainbow and what's on the other side. You haven't heard the Rainbow Connection? Oh, I love that song. I could sing it for you, but I won't Please torture don't. you. Yeah, I won't torture mm -hmm. you with it. But I, I know the song. Just know <laughs> that. He's around. Yeah, he's playing Leapfrog. I don't understand... Hold on, I need at least three minutes in a miracle to do this. Huh? <laughs> to figure it out. I think it goes this way. There's probably a picture in one of these. I don't know where this goes. His guitar? Yeah. Just... I think you just lean it up against there it. There we go. All right, last one. That's his banjo. <gasps> I'm so glad you got different ones. Uh, this is a uh, disgust or something from from the Inside Out movie. Yes. Oh, Christine. That's what Andrew always says. Andrew calls. Yes. And I'm sadness or something. Yes. <laughs> this is the one he says is Christina. So these props were not hard to set up. It looks like in series eight. They added more stuff. They added more stuff. But it also made it a little bit uh, more difficult to figure out. We have a box from Alicia in Virginia. Oh, it looks like lots of packages are in there. Tammy. 
There's no candy bar, but it's still sweet. That's mm. what it says on the outside of the... Oh my goodness, look! That's hilarious! <laughs> That's so funny! Tammy, just for you, a hug, Ken, spice latte. Happy Halloween, Alicia in Virginia. I love that. I will put that in the dining room. I have another one in the dining room. Okay, this is a letter. Ooh, she gave me receipts. Okay to share on YouTube. Hi, Tammy. I just wanted to send you a little something as a thank you for brightening my day. I originally, originally found your channel while surfing for London videos. Now I'm hooked on your videos, vlogs, and Kevin's lunchtime review. Thank you. My favorites are the ones with Guido snoring in the background. Oh, just hysterical. He's right, now. he's right now. He's laying in the floor snoring. My husband thinks you are my soulmate because there is actually someone else who loves Mr. Kipling's Bakewell tarts as much as I do. Oh, yes. For breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the time. I have to admit that the Battenberg cakes are pretty awesome too. I love the Battenberg cakes. The Bakewell tarts, the Battenbergs, and the Viennese whirls are probably my top three Mr. Kiplings. Um, we have started a list of things to try on our next trip to London after watching your reviews. When I send my husband out in search of a new product, he now asks what my friends, Tammy and Kevin, have to say about it. I'm sure you will know which gift is for you. A little memento from my home state. Don't think you have this one yet. I've also included a few things for Kevin and Andrew to try. Saw these snacks at Aldi's and thought of them. Please pass on a big thanks to Mish Mish, Dr. J, and all the others who send products for you to review on the channel. Thanks so much for sharing your family with us and making us laugh. Fondly, Alicia in Virginia. P.S. My family absolutely loved your Halloween house tour. Your decorations are fabulous. Thank you very, very much. Our, um, I have to say, our Halloween decorations have evolved throughout our oh, yeah. marriage. I mean, you know, when we were, uh, very young and just starting out, we uh, hardly had anything. So anything that we had, we would print out on the computer and and cut tape it out. Ta yeah, we would tape things to the door. I had things taped on um, in our old house. I had things taped on the front of every kitchen cabinet. Uh, the kids would make things out of construction paper. I made things. I made a ghost and I think we made spiders and I had them for years and years and we would hang them up every year and decorate the house with those. So, you know, if you don't have the money for decorations, you can make your own from construction paper. But then, you know, throughout the years, you just, if you just buy one or two things, then your collection will grow and you have more to put out. So and we usually buy them when they're on sale. Yes, that's key as well is yes, try to get things when they're on sale. So now this year I did go ahead and I bought some more expensive items like my candy girl on the front porch. I think she was $50 and I, I would have never done that normally but i know i knew in that moment that if i did not get her i would regret it and someone else would buy her because they only had one and for many many years i had wanted some kind of a sign to put on the front porch and so the sign i bought says happy halloween and you could probably make that yourself at home but i knew that also in that moment i thought if i don't buy this I'm never going to make it because I've told myself a hundred times I'm going to make a sign like this and I never do. So, you know, for this year, I did spend some money, but, um, you know, it's, it's taken me years and years uh, to acquire a lot of this stuff. So, uh, but thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the house tour. Um, okay, let's see. Pretty sure those Steak are for me and either. fries. Sims jerky snacks. Steak jerky and french fry crisps. Yes, these are uh, from Aldi. Mm -hmm. um, and one package is 220 calories. That's cool, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, bacon and cornbread crisps. They are gonna have so much fun doing these. Chicken and waffle crisps. 
You wait till we show these these things to Andrew. Like he, yes, they are gonna have a lot of fun. That's yours. <laughs> ah, oh, there's not one. There's two boxes. I'll open the big one first. Ah, I love it when there's a little one too. Oh yes, Virginia. Mother of Presidents, Blue Ridge Mountains. It has a racehorse and a, a crab. It has a um, a drum. Um, deer. Deer. It looks like a beachy scene. Uh, there's a, it, that looks like a yeah, cardinal. cardinal. Mm -hmm. um, live passionately, Chesapeake Bay. I think it was focusing on my my shirt because my shirt has writing on it today. Okay, let's see the baby. It looks like it's the Oh, thing. it is. It's the baby. I'm so excited uh, to put these on my tree this year. I really, really am. Thank you so much. I appreciate this very, very much. And this is something that I will, I will keep these forever and ever. So um, I will make sure that I put your name on here. And Kevin also said, you know, you need to put the, the state not just put the name on the box, you need to put the state on the box because... Yeah, we might not be able to match them up. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to match them up then. So, uh, so I'll have to do that on my all my other boxes that I've gotten in the past. I started doing that with my last one. I put the name and the state. So I'll do that with yours too. So thank you very much. So I noticed as we're walking towards the back, they have Christmas stuff out. They have Christmas trees out already at Walmart. Is this not crazy? They have a tinsel tree. Well, not really. Look. Oh my goodness. Christmas is here at Walmart. No, it's not. Look at this with the snowman. North Pole Express Mail. Yeah, they have lots of Christmas stuff out. Yeah, so <laughs> I wonder how far it goes. It looks like there's a lot of clearance signs, so they're still trying to get rid of uh, summer stuff, I'm sure. Oh, is it mixed in? Weed pillar and pencil. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Funny combination. How far does it go? Gloves. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, Kevin said bags with gloves. They've got, there's a lot of wrapping paper out though, isn't there? boxes. And the lights. With the grill stuff. It's yeah, all this, all this grill stuff is on clearance. So, Kevin, if if you see anything, <laughs> now's the time to get it. These are neat. What are these? Mesh garland, and so it's like, it's like ready for you to unfold and put around your uh, mantle. Gift tags. I saw some Kentucky stuff along here somewhere and I wanted to come back and look at it. Kevin's probably like, what is she doing? Those are the big bags. Oh, here's the stockings. Oh, here's the Kentucky stuff. I figured, you know, you all are in other states and I figured you would be um, interested in seeing this believe in the season uk that's cool and it's one of those marshmallow men look his nose is already broken it's one of those marshmallow men i think i want to say they i first saw them at hallmark and kevin loves them and they have a team banner they have this set usually though um a lot of the kentucky stuff will go will go quickly because they only they only get a certain amount of it. That's really cool. But then they have other ones. 
there's a, a chair to sit in, a recliner. That's his chair to sit in while he's watching the game. <laughs> and a football helmet. And then you have uh, ears and antlers to put on your head. And then I gave one of those to Amelia one year. So now they put out the elf on the shelf, but they also put out that, that elf as well. So there's the little Kentucky section of Christmas. Oh my. Can you imagine Kevin and that? That's hilarious. And I see a little snowman around here. Oh, he's cute. 36 inch snowman decor. It says welcome. That is really cute. Yeah, I like him. Look at these huge trees. They're inflatable things. Oh, they have a unicorn. A Merry Christmas unicorn. Reindeer parking sign. That's only $30. That's not bad. They don't actually have any inflatables out. That's a black Christmas tree. Um, they don't have any inflatables out. I'm thinking they'll do that when it, when they get rid of some of their um, outdoor stuff. Then they'll put some inflatables out. So, and here's all their buildings. They have some really neat ones. Moose Lodge. Now they look they have a Walmart. Hampshire Fire Department. So there's a few things at Walmart for Christmas. So now we're on the hunt from some metal men. Andrew told us about these metal Minecraft men that he saw out here. And he said they were on the up, there they are, on the bottom shelf. And oh, nightmare before, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's for you. Yes, I want those. And what did, let me, did you get the Minecraft ones? Yeah, if they'd had two of those, I would've bought them. I think, one. is that the only ones they have? Yeah. Oh man, I wonder if there's any on top. We'll have to look. Yeah, we definitely, I was gonna get two of the Minecraft uh, ones. I would've kept one. Oh man. So they've moved all the metal figures over here. Well, we'll just have to keep checking back. Do they both have the same figures? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just seeing if one was painted better than that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna look on these top shelves. It's amazing how quickly they've sold. I wonder how many were out here when Andrew saw them. Oh wait, there's uh, there's two. Look, there's a DC and an X-Men right there. Yeah. Somebody might have picked one up and set it back down too somewhere. I bet you would get used to playing it on that little machine. This is the good one. I think you would get used to it. What else do they have? Rampage, Joust, which I used to love. Hubert, that would drive me I nuts. loved Frogger. Frogger? Fro Remember, you put Frogger on the computer at one time. Yeah, well, this one made a long battery circuit. Yeah, I'd say just like anything else, you get used to, used to playing it small. Think about how Ashley's gotten used to reading books on her phone. Do you remember this game? Rampage? Yeah, where you, you're the monster and you have to climb up and destroy all the buildings. Yes, I never played it, but it seems like I watched somebody else yeah. play it. See, somebody picked that up and set it down. Full yes, Minecraft. that's what I was showing you. They're cool. Wither skeleton. They're cool. What do you? I mean, what would you do with them? I guess a kid would play with it. It's I like buying on these big. Like yeah. 
I'd rather have milk. I never was into the big men. Yeah, I Gavin. Yeah, I like Gavin ones. likes those. Well, they're easier to to take around. Yeah. Look at that monsters. He's a monster, and he's a monster. That's a neat little set. That's twenty dollars. He looks a little bad. For one man. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the Transformers we got. I wonder if he was. I don't know. Probably in his toy box. <laughs> really? Wonder why the boxers are torn up. So these are my Nightmare Before Christmas uh, characters. These are the Nano Metal Figs. They're the same thing that I have bought for Gavin for Christmas. And they have all kinds of sets. They have like tons of DC superhero sets. And so um, I've decided I'm going to put them right here. Because I could put them on the bookshelf lower. But I'm afraid that Gavin and Amelia will fool with them if I do. So... Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna put them up here on the mantle. And so when I get them put out here, I'll show them to you. Kevin is going to start on these Metal Earth kits. He has three of them here, but you don't think they'll take much time, do you? Um, I don't think they'll take too long. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, these are different. <laughs> uh, Bobby sent these to us, Hula Mama, uh, sent these to Kevin. And this is from, this is the Trash Can Collection. This is, it's a small world and the Main Street USA area and Fantasyland. And these are all from Disneyland in California. Why don't you go ahead and open that and we'll see. There are two sheets. Though. Oh, two sheets. Okay. Which is so, surprising. So it may take longer than what I was thinking. I was thinking if it only had one shape. I wonder if they're fairly big parts though. So I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah, they look like big parts. So I'm thinking, what I was thinking is he'll probably be able to work all three at oh, yeah. one time. You know, normally he just does one big one. But uh, since this only has two sheets and they do look like bigger parts, I think it won't take him that long to I don't do them. So anyway, I wanted to show you before. That's before. And then we'll show you the after in just a minute. One of the things I've noticed about the new ones is they don't put the sheet, they don't put the numbers of the pieces on the sheets anymore. They actually print a lot of them on the sheets themselves. Like that one's a nine. Uh, this says five. Um, it's really probably, probably hard for you to see seven. Let's see. I can see your reflection. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, um, it's like a mirror. Oh, the, okay. I can see the five. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I think that's cool that they're marking them actually on the piece. I guess maybe, like this one's a yeah, smaller seven. piece, but it's going right there. It's pointing yeah. towards it. So I like that because what I was having to do before was um, I would have one, it was like one piece of the sheet over here would be the, the numbers. And when you got to the back, you'd have to flip back and forth, back and forth, trying to figure out what the number was. I like it that they do them like this. I wish they would do all of them like that. Here is the first one. And it actually says it's a small world on it. And you can push it and it opens. You can put trash in there. Would it come out the bottom? No. Oh, not. so if you put something in there, it's, it's, it, gone. it's gone forever. That is so cute. And both sides open. Mm. I love it. So how long do you think it took you? 15 minutes? 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. 15 or 20 and minutes. And all of them are put together the same way. So now that I know how to do one. Right. So what, which one are you going to do next? Um, I don't know. Just pick I think you should go street. in order. Yeah, no, main, do Main street. street next. This is the next one. Let me get some light on it. There we go. 
it says Main Street USA on it. And once again, you can push in the sides. And this one is a gold box. I don't know if it shows up very well in this light, but it is a gold box. And that looks like a car, like the front of a, um, an old time car. So there's two. And then Kevin has already started working on the third one. What, what is this last one, Kevin? The fantasy. Fantasy land? Yeah, I think it's fantasy yeah, land. Fantasy. So here is the third and final trash can. And this one is from fantasy land in Disneyland. And so Kevin, what did you think about these? They're cool. They're, uh, they're, they're not hard models, but they come out really nice looking. Um, you wouldn't think a trash can would be something a neat model, but I think they're pretty cool. I do too. And and especially with the push things actually working. So, so do you think neat. these are like a starter level? Um, or? Yeah, I mean, there's only um, there's only like eight pieces, eight or nine pieces to the whole thing. So a starter would be okay. And they, what's cool about it is the piece that could break, potentially break when you're doing it, they give you like, uh, you need two. I think they give you four or six of them. So if you do break them, you got extra. So, so I think it would be a good beginner. Um, it may be even too, uh, it'd be a good one for a first time just to see if you like how they work. Right. We were talking about, um, with these figures, um, it's actually the next day. <laughs> and we were talking about, I was telling you that I was gonna, or I might have said it during the grocery haul when I showed these figures, but I said that I was gonna look into buying, um, this, um, display, it's the, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's the display that goes with Jack Skellington. And I said, if it didn't cost very much, then I would probably get that. I think I said it during the grocery haul when I bought these. Anyway, I decided not to do it because it behind me, you will see this Harry Potter set. And this Harry Potter set is really nice and it's, it's sturdy and there's three floors to it and there's doors. Um, you can open and close doors on it. We did a video of it, but it's really cool and the kids like it and um, it's just nice and it's bigger. This, we looked it up, Amazon had it and it, I don't even remember how much Kevin said it was, but it's just this little bitty thing and really it's only meant for this one figure. See Jack standing up on top of the hill? It's just meant for that one figure to be there. It's not meant, it's not a big display like this. So I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna leave my men sitting on the mantle like they are. If it had, if they had done a, like one of the houses, um, or even if they did like a Christmas town scene where you could actually play with it like this, I would have totally bought it. If in, like if they had a Halloween one, I would set it out at Halloween. If they had a Christmas townhouse, I would set it out for Christmas. Uh, so, but they don't have anything like that. So I've decided that I'm just gonna settle for the figures and I, I really enjoy them anyway. So um, I'm just gonna not buy these. And Kevin said they had another set. I don't remember what it was, but they had another one of these. It wasn't Nightmare Before Christmas. It was like, I don't know, it was like Mickey Mouse or something. But it was also only for one figure and it was something really, really small. And so for me, it's not worth it because I want an actual house. But now it is made by the same brand. It's this Nano Metal Figs. So if you go to Amazon, if you live in a different country or something like that, and you like those figures, um, you can go on Amazon and they do have them. So hopefully they ship to your area. He's um, used to, I think years ago, fall break was like a week long. 
but now it's only a couple of days so Kevin was off yesterday and he's off today but today he is going to do his lunchtime review where he goes out to eat and so I figured I would ride along with him normally he's in um, he's working in another town so normally I can't ride with him but uh, today I just thought it would be fun to tag along with him and he's going to you're going to Wendy's he's going to Wendy's so if you um, watch lunchtime review then you'll see uh, you'll have seen this but we I told him I said I want to clean um, under the couches because the couch is something one of the couches uh, sits up high so and you you can see under it so I clean under there pretty frequently that's the one in the living room that's the old-fashioned looking one it was my grandmother Scott's and so it wasn't really bad at all but it was funny because when we moved the end tables out and under one of the end tables were three toys of Gavin and Amelia's and I swear they had been under there since last Christmas. There were two Hershey Kisses. There was a Ghirardelli wrapper, one of the, the peppermint Ghirardelli squares. One of the, the wrappers was under there. And there was a Twix. There was a, a, a um, Twix. There was also a, a Brock's. A Brock's caramel was under there. And there, there were the individually wrapped ones. So everything, I mean, nothing was like, oh, and there was a, um, like a sucker stick. Yeah. I'm assuming I'm, somebody's laid it over there. And, then just and it just fell. Out. And and then, yeah, it got knocked. And this, the table is low. So if like the cat knocked it underneath the table, he wouldn't be able to get it back out. And because it has like a lip under it. And so anyway, I thought that was funny that we found, yeah, Kevin said we found a, a little Woody from Toy Story. I found a little girl from, um what's jake and the neverland pirates i found the little girl figure and then i found a car a purple car from uh, a car, one of the cars that set like lightning mcqueen and um so the kids will be thrilled because they haven't seen those toys probably since they first got them uh, but then when i cleaned most people probably wouldn't admit to this but i'm going to um when i cleaned under the couch in the den how often do you move your couch i mean really how often do you move your couch and clean under your couch so there was i there was enough hair to make a small rabbit under there and I do clean under like the front of the couch. I like as much as I can sweep under there, I do. But since it has a bed, it's a couch that makes out into a bed, it's lower than most couches in the middle. So you can't get a broom up under there uh, like you would most couches. Um, because if I, I try to sweep under there, but you, there's only so far that you can go. So anyway, we uh, we're headed to Wendy's and then we're gonna go to the post office. The post office was closed yesterday. We attempted to go. And so now that it's a regular Tuesday, it should be open and I should be able to uh, pick up the box that was sent to me. Our box, we were finally able to get it from the post office. So this is from Mishmish in Michigan. And let's see what all is in here. We have Doritos Blaze Collisions. We've had the Blaze, but we haven't had the Collisions. And Tepa, uh, Tepatio, Doritos Tepatio. And then we have Ooh. Great Value Lemon Filled Muffins. And Chocolate Filled Muffins. And, and <laughs> Banana Nut Filled Muffins. And oh, wow. And blueberry muffins. Have we ever seen these? Um, I don't remember ever seeing these, but you know what? I haven't really looked. In yeah, area, they so. they might have been there, and we just did not see them at all. I have been, been looking. looking I have literally been looking for the cereal. This is post shredded wheat, frosted chocolate strawberry. I have not seen this anywhere in our area, so I'm I'm very excited to try that. Um, then we have Little Debbie Double Chocolate Mini Donuts. These are new. And what else is in here? Oh, 
7-Eleven orange flavored cupcakes. Um, Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie. This is a Choco Mints. Um, and I don't think, I don't think I've seen that anywhere. It's been a while since we've had a Lenny and Larry's cookie. And, oh wow. These are, these are Walmart, because I recognize. Uh, marshmallow Treat. This is just a regular one. And then we have a cotton candy flavored. And then we have a fruity marshmallow treat. Chocolate peanut butter treat. <laughs> there are a lot of these. Um, and then this is the Ultimate White Chunk Pumpkin Cookies. And she was worried about the date on these. And the date, um, that is yesterday's date on there. Uh, but I'm sure they're, um, I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, these are Carrot Cake Sandwich Cookies. Uh, if you all remember, uh, she had sent us the, um, Pumpkin sandwich cookies, and they were, and they were the best cookies. yes, they were the best pumpkin cookies that we had. Oh my goodness! Perfect timing because you're you're about out. Yes, I, I had a coffee on my grocery list. This is a Gloria Jean's butter toffee, and she sent Kevin some Tim Hortons, and then I see a Starbucks bag. I can't imagine a state that she would could have possibly been to. Um, she has sent me tons of mugs. A oh, Michigan. A Michigan mug. Um, I'm surprised that I don't have this one. Well, you may have the other series. Right. The You Are Here, Not Been There. Apple Blossom. There's a lighthouse. They have lots of lighthouses in Michigan. Water, winter, wonder, winter wonderland, Mackinac you know, Bridge. When you said that, I, I would have never thought that, but I, I guess that makes sense. What? Lighthouses. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of lighthouses. Yeah. And then what's this? Detroit. Oh, now see, I have the Detroit uh, You Are Here mug for yeah, sure. Yes. Yes, this is the Been There series. Um, yeah, Been There series. I have... Um, she, uh, I, I'm pretty sure Mish Mish is the one that sent it. Uh, just the regular uh, You Are Here Detroit mug. And there's a, it says theater. So this is really cool. I like this a lot. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate all of this. Um, can't wait to try it. I appreciate you sending me the coffee too because literally it's on my grocery list. <laughs> so thank you very much. Some of you all may have noticed when we did that box opening, we have reviewed the Doritos Tapatio before. Um, I knew they looked familiar, but we hadn't had them in a little while, so I wasn't sure if these were the exact ones we have had, but we have actually tried these. Kevin is going to start the, this is a nettle, another Metal Earth kit. This is the Notre Dame de Paris. This was sent to him from Jason in Maryland. And even though it comes in a great big box like this, this is um, the same as one of the um, envelopes that you would get. It's just that they tried to, um, they make these fancier looking. And the I'm, sheets are bigger. But. And I mean, it is nice. It is a, a very nice set and I'm sure it cost a lot more than the price cost. Um, $30. Yeah, $30, whereas the other ones Kevin does are usually around $15. So, it did cost more, so that's why they, uh, I think, try to put it in the fancier box to let you know, hey, this is a more advanced model. Did it have anything written on the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's the that'll that's probably the take you some time. I'm wondering if it um, told you... It just says it's located Notre Dame Cathedral or, central, or simply Notre Dame. This historic Catholic cathedral is situated in the heart of Paris on the eastern half of that. 
uh, the, the cathedral is widely considered to be one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture and among the largest and most well-known church buildings in the world. I was wondering if it told you what level it was. It doesn't. They never do. You oh, they their, don't? No, you can go to their website. I think they should put a number on there. Like, yeah, they should tell you how advanced they are. So, yeah, like beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Right. So when you finish it, you'll be able to tell us what you thought of yeah. it. Kevin was just making the models yesterday, the Disneyland, the trash cans, or not yesterday, but the day before, I think. Yeah. And he told you, what did you tell him? I that, was saying that, that I liked it that when they printed the numbers actually on the metal sheets, uh, because this is how they normally come. This is a normal, old, the old school sheets, where you get the, you get all the part numbers or the piece numbers on the printed front. The good thing is they've started colorizing. Used to, they didn't even put colors on them, so it's like... Um, if this is a number seven, you had to go figure out where all the other number sevens that look like that were. And they didn't number them all. Like here, that's another number seven because it's yellow. Both of them are yellow. But anyway, um, I'll, this is fine when you're working on this sheet. But if I'm working on the back, like I need uh, part number 51, I have to go, okay, part number 51. And I have to flip it over and find part number 51 wherever it is. To see what it looks like. Then cut it over and then flip it back over and f see where I was at. And so so I end up pulling like, I usually do like a couple parts at a time. Throw all the parts in a step and kind of put them in order. Right. Um, is it only doing. the Disney ones that have the numbers I on think them? it's the newer ones that okay. aren't this small. These are pretty small though. So I don't, I don't know if they could even put numbers on some of these. Right. Because this but is pretty packed. But it's nice if they were watching. Watching, which I don't or, think would be if they would, know it's helpful. If they would stick this, just these, just the, the maybe this, the directions and this on a separate little piece of paper in there. Right. Like a little small piece of paper, like a half sheet. Right. And then have the directions on the other sheet. So you don't have to keep flipping back So I don't have to flip back and forth. They can just have the direction sheet propped up somewhere. Right. Then, or the part numbers propped up somewhere. And, right. I don't know. Seven hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Uh, no, it took five. Five, about five hours. Well, um, I did eat during that. Time. He did eat, but that only took about 15 minutes. And then we talked so, to the neighbors for a while. We did talk to the neighbors, yeah. So it, okay. Four. Four, four and a half hours. <laughs> um, four and a half hours, uh, and it's finished. But, you know, like Kevin said, Jason spent $30 on this, so it's nice to know that when you spend $30, you want it to take a long time. You don't necessarily need for it to be hard, um, but you want to be able to um, uh, spend some time on it. I'm trying to... It's wanting to focus on the words, I think, and I'm trying to show you all... Hold on, let me move it down here. There we go. I'm trying to show you the detail, and it was wanting to focus on the words on the on the box. So this is a good size model too. Very very good size model. And Kevin said it wasn't necessarily hard. It was a just detail. yes, a lot of detail, a lot of parts, pieces to put together. But even though it wasn't hard. This probably wouldn't be one you would recommend to somebody who's starting out, would you? Um, you could probably, if you've got a couple of them under your belt, then you could do this one. But don't you think if somebody were to buy you this going out of the gate, you would never want to do one again? Um, yeah, it, it would be frustrating to you if, you were, you if it was your first one. Right. But if it was like your fourth or fifth one, I think you'd enjoy it. Right. Ashley is um, going to make some uh, tarts for her teacher. It's her birthday and for the the lead teacher in the classroom and normally she would make uh, fruit tarts which i think we did a video all by itself of uh, the fruit tarts however this time she thought she would make them uh, differently and she's going to use um, nestle toll house these are the chunks uh, because she thought she would they would look really cute and the teacher likes chocolate <clears throat> so um you just roll these up and put them in there? Put them in there. So this is how the um, uh, Pillsbury sugar cookies look once you've baked them in the tart pan. And uh, they look like little tarts. They're very, very cute. And so now Ashley has to cream. Um, she has a... A pound of powdered sugar, domino sugar, confectioner sugar, and she has um, cream cheese and butter, 
And she's going to cream all those together with a mixer. You gotta do it by hand. You have to do it by hand? Oh, I didn't realize you had to do it by hand. Mixer doesn't do it right. Believe me, I'm trying. Because oh. my arm hates me after I do this. <laughs> so here are Ashley's finished tarts. Uh, she will keep these in the refrigerator overnight. And you can see she's already put a cover over them. Um, I was in the shower when she finished these. so they're But they're really, really cute. And I think her teacher will be very pleased with them. In last week's vlog, I talked about the um, article that Carla Ward wrote for the Lexington Herald Leader. I did a phone interview with them, and so somebody was nice enough uh, um, to cut it out and give it to Kevin today at work, and it was in the local section in the Lexington Herald Leader. I did not realize it would be in the printed paper. I thought it was just going to be on the uh, in the online only edition. So she brought me that, and then we went to Walmart tonight because um, I had an article, another article written for the uh, the Winchester Sun. I did not realize when I got the Winchester Sun that we're on the front page. <laughs> so we walked up to buy it um, in the uh, checkout, the self check at Walmart. And uh, I like how they uh, they put Sir Pies. <laughs> what is it saying? I think it's supposed to be laughing, but I think it's the battery. Oh, try another one. We're at Rite Aid, and they already have all their Halloween stuff, fifty percent off. And it's not even near Halloween. No, that's what it says. Oh, it's supposed to be squeaky wheels. Oh, it doesn't. It's supposed to be the wheels are squeaky. Like, it doesn't sound like squeaky no, wheels. Like you see the snakes? Sneak a peek. It won't hurt. Too long. <laughs> I like her. She's cool. They haven't got any Christmas stuff out though, so that's good. Oh, look, they have lip smackers. I wonder if these are 50% off. That's a, a Jack Skellington. Those are cute. Yeah, it makes me wonder if those are 50% off as well. And the books, would the books be 50% off? Halloween, I don't know. Ooh, and they have holiday DVDs. So they do have a few, um, well, actually this is the only Christmas item I say, but I'm gonna try it out. Okay, what does this do? I guess that would be cute for a little baby. And they have um, some toys over on this side. Oh, look at these. These are squish show mallows. And it looks like they stack on top of each other. I'll tell you what, those peekaboo things go on for a while, don't they? There's some Christmas stuff. A few things there. We have some mail and uh, a couple of packages to open for you. Uh, Sandra and Adam, who live in Australia, they took a trip. I swear they were gone like a month. And I'm not exaggerating. Um, they went... They went to London for like a week, and then they went on a bus tour to everywhere. I mean, they they saw it all. They went. Um, they went to Ireland. To, and... Yes, and Scotland, and but then they went to I want to say Austria, and I mean 
Amsterdam or up, she would have to leave in the comments if she felt like it were I would like to know okay exactly because I was keeping up with her on Facebook and you know you're on a bus tour so every day you see different things um, I'd like to know what her favorite spots were you know what what was your favorite country that you saw um, but I mean they had a great time so anyway she sent me a postcard and I love the postcard and it says hi guys we have had a wonderful time on the bus tour in Europe now we are back in London having a great time and it kind of feels like being home as such I thought about you a lot while walking around London always having you in my heart so lucky weather's been great here and we have felt very safe walking around love Sandra and Adam that's something that people ask us when we got back to was well did you feel safe and I never I wouldn't go someplace that I didn't feel safe. I, I feel more safe there than I do many places here. So, you know, I, I love it in yeah. London. You just got to take precautions like putting your billfold in your front pocket. Like well, and don't go down places that, places you don't know. Of, you know, <laughs> don't go down dark alleys. I wouldn't do that here, though, you know. So use your smarts the same there that you would here at home. But so they went... They were like in London for a week and then they took this huge bus tour, but then they came back and they were back in London for another week. So they had like the kind of vacation that I can only dream of. Um, so now I have from Alicia. Alicia usually sends me, oh, no, <laughs> it's a okay. No, no, I, it's not. Yeah, Alicia sends me, yes, we don't want to show Alicia's address. Uh, she sends me cute. Eh, we just bought some of that. We just got back from the store uh, from buying toilet paper, and there's there's two. There's two cute bottles. Well, luckily, they don't expire until November. We will definitely be using, using? these. Uh, look, there's yep. some ones for Kroger. Oh, Bath and Body Works. Um, oh, look, free hand cream. I love these because uh, we we will you can literally I, walk in, get your stuff, and leave. Yeah, and I can <laughs> leave. Thank well, you, Alicia. Check out. Don't just walk out with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This Kevin thought this was funny because two envelopes they look exactly the same, but they're from two different people in two different states. Oh, this is from Crystal. Yeah. Uh, and Jean in Kentucky. They live in Kentucky, and Jean said. Um, Jean said she prepared the envelope, but then Crystal had to fix it for her. <laughs> and she said no need to open on camera, but I'm going to because I want to, sh oh my goodness. <laughs> it's time, oh, they sent me a lot of coupons. It's time for Halloween. You know what? You sent me so many coupons that the card, it literally, the card's in two. <laughs> from the weight of the I'll, I'll tape it I'll tape it together it's time for Halloween hope this Halloween's one you'll you'll love every spooky moment of happy Halloween Jean Crystal and Lacey this cat reminded me of Ashley's <laughs> look those are cat stickers and then she puts them on the bottom those are hilarious see I will tape your card back together but what you did was is you put so many um um coupons in here that i think it just it broke it in two so i'm gonna have fun going through all these coupons thank you very much and then the other card is from uh deborah in iowa yeah, wishing you a halloween with good Gayers, box tops, good treats, good fun, good times, good pranks, pretty much good everything. Have a very good Halloween, Deborah. You want to hold that one up? And she sent me a coupon. The ghost dog. Uh, for Green Mountain Coffee or the Donut Shop, which I love their uh, 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 coconut. coconut and <coughs> box tops. And then she sent me, Dear Tammy and Kevin, you may read on camera. Um, I have been enjoying watching your channel and how honest you guys are and always enjoy when I get to see Andrew and Ashley doing reviews. 
Since watching your channel, I am starting to eat new foods. Laughing Cow, Baby Bell, Screaming Cecilia, and before I go shopping, I always look for the food item I want and see what you and Kevin have to say. I also have been enjoying Lunchtime Review. My favorite is Rayburn's Southwest Steak Sandwich. sandwich. I know that we have not met in person. I consider you guys as my friends. Hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween, Deborah. Thank you very, very much. Um, that's nice, and I'm glad that you have tried like the Laughing Cow and the Screaming Sicilian. I think that's a very, very uh, cool that you've seen those things and you trust our opinion. Uh, so thank you um, very awesome. much for the card. I will put it in. I will put both the Halloween cards. I'm putting them in my dining room on my mantle, so that's where I'll put those. This is from Dr. J in the UK. Um, I'm probably have to pull out two pieces. But... Oh, I have two sections. So here's one. And then this one's like I'm dying. Stuck. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. To... Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. To my knowledge, we do not have these in the United States. <laughs> I'm I got you two sets. Dying. Oh my gosh. Okay. He sent me a picture of these. These are a uh, great value, which I wonder if that's Walmart. No, no, no. What am I doing? They have Walmart. Um, Self-adhesive Willie Ben sticker kits. And when he, oh my goodness. Well, they go on your garbage can. Yes, they go on the garbage can. And if you don't think I'm gonna put those in, that is hysterical. And he got us the pugs. And they have, um, they have different ones. And I told him, we need these in the United States. We mm -hmm. desperately need these. You can also hang them on the wall. And then on the window, it looks like. And then on your, your RV, I think You can probably put them on your awesome. laptop or. These are awesome. Um, you know. I'm Whatever. sure the neighbors will love me for this, but they don't, they don't care. I'm totally They might see those and go, where can I get one for my dog? <laughs> yeah, really, because they have a dog. Uh, what kind of, is it a boxer? Yeah, I think so. It's a white and brown. It's mostly white. So. She, her name's Arya mm -hmm. from Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. and she is a beautiful dog. She is. And she's, she's a stinker, though. She's, oh, I just love her. She's so sweet. Um, I'm sure they will get a kick out of that. And what is this? Oh. <laughs> He a page together for you. Dear Tammy and Kevin, I couldn't just send the stickers. That's a pretty good idea. It keeps it from sliding around in the package. I love this. Oh my. Yes. I love these. Dames. Yes, but these are. Dimes. Yes. Yes. I love these. These are the three pack of uh, the dime candy bars. I didn't bring my knife over here. So if you this, need to cut them all out. I don't. This is a Yorkie. Pro, it's a protein chocolate. Oh, I don't think we um, that. No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until we have your exacto knife. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't bring it up. And here. then I'm gonna take these off very carefully. As like she's pulling the tape off. Yeah, I did say that, didn't I? Um, I'm gonna take it off very carefully uh, because I don't want to uh, rip anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. But he sent us two of these Yorkie Pros. And then he sent me a Cadbury Bourneville in the orange. And in, in, it looked like they were gonna write new and they crossed it out and put old on it. So I guess these have been out in the past and they've oh, just God. brought them back. We have tried just the regular Bourneville and I think we bought ours at um, Walt Disney World in Epcot. In the, and I think we, yeah, I'm thinking we paid an arm and a leg for it. I'm thinking. Um, and then he sent us some Freddo Cadbury Dairy Milk Freddo bars, and these are yep. um, limited edition. Yeah, as long as we don't tear the paper. Well, these are like plasticky kind of. Uh, the tape. So no, the uh, packaging are kind of aluminum or whatever, so they come off pretty easy. Okay. Very good idea, though. Yeah, I like this idea because he sent it in a a flat mailer. 
So we these, used to, I remember, this reminds me of when we used to send protein bars to Andrew in the military. We'd send yeah. them in an envelope and we'd mash the crap out of those yeah. things. <laughs> these are, uh, this is a variety pack. So you get the regular Freddo oh, and then you get the caramel and the popping candy. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get three in there. It's a five pack. So you're mm -hmm. going to get two of the regular, two of the caramel, and one of the popping candy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and I will uh, very, very much enjoy these. I love them. So thank you, Dr. J. And then we have one more package, and it is from Jason in Maryland. Yeah, I see some goodies for me in there. Oh, do you? And I see goodies for you. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're gonna think this is funny. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> that is funny. You know what? He's so sweet. He knows that I, oh my goodness. You have a hard time finding them. I have a hard time finding them. And I don't ever see them in these little packages like this. That actually, I'm glad you put those in the bag because I can smell them. I oh, can yeah. smell them. Because um, they don't seal them. No, they don't. Thank you. These, in case everybody's like, what the heck? He's sending <laughs> our stuff to clean with. Um, these are Lysol dual action wipes. So they're rough on one side, they're a little abrasive, but on the other side, they're just the, oh, the flat wipes. And I, in our area, they used to sell them everywhere. And oh, it's a little wet. So it seeped out a little bit. That's Probably. why I can smell it. Um, you got, you know. Thank you. <laughs> um, I hope you did not pay a lot for these. Um, uh, but in our area, we I can only find them at Meyer, and it's the bigger uh, container. I really appreciate that. No, these are for you, me. You listen to me. <gasps> oh my goodness! A creep, oh, a creeper and a Steve. That um, is awesome. Pop figures, pop vinyl figures. That is awesome. Those are cool. I said there was there was stuff for me. Kevin loves Hello. those. Hello, those things. Look. <laughs> I can't believe you found these here. I know. These, um, this, I have to explain everything. I love my favorite little children's books are the Roger Hargreaves books, Mr. Man and Little Miss. And he got me some socks. Those are so cute. I love them. Love them. Those are adorable. I think this one's for me. <gasps> Mr. Bump. Mr. Bump. I'm assuming it's a One cop, bump cop. or two. That's exactly what it is. I wonder where he found these. Yeah, he might say. Oh, yeah, I love it. You know, look. They had the, a local grocery store had their wipes on clearance. So. Had their wipes? Oh, well, I'm glad they were on clearance. I'm glad. I love the cup. Oh. It's a Maryland. It's cool. I like the colors. This it's like is, a peachy color. Inside. Yeah, this is a, it's a coral. Coral. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I know. There's one more thing in here for you. I'm trying to, there we go. This is just like the been there uh, mug, the big mug, except this is uh, a Christmas ornament. Thank you so much. I'm going to have uh, the best collection because uh, you all have sent me so many. Um, I love it. I got the whole tree with just mugs. What do you want? I'm going to show you one more thing, right? Yeah. <gasps> oh my <laughs> He said he got that at Costco. Is the, oh, he has a tail. Yeah, it's got a little tail. <laughs> oh. He says, uh, hello again, Tammy and Kevin. Just felt like sending you both a few small items to enjoy. Your Mr. Men Little Miss items and the pop vinyl figures are both on clearance and made me think of you guys. A local grocery store also had the Lysol Dual Action Wipes on Clearance. I bought some for Tammy since she said they were difficult to find nowadays. They are. Um, also, I was also able to find the Maryland Been There mug or ornament and I couldn't help but buy a Guido to Pug a friend when I saw it while shopping at Costco. Best wishes to you both and talk to you soon. Your friend Jason. I love it. I love it. That is so. Now, when Guido was younger, if you would have set that down, he would have grabbed it and ran. 
Nowadays, I don't. He'd probably come up and sniff at it. I think he it. would sniff it, but I think that would be it. Yeah. I don't even think he would look at it twice because, <laughs> um, yeah, he, he might. I I don't think he would. This is for me. It's, let's face it's it. It's very soft. This is for me. Uh, yes. Once um, once Halloween is over, I have a pillow right now on our bed that is for Halloween. Once Halloween is over, I have to put this on my bed. <laughs> Prince. That's his name. His name is Prince. Prince is considered royalty on the playground. You can't miss Prince doing flips and tricks across the monkey bars with his adventurous squashmallow pals. Want to so it must be a show? Squashmallows. Squash. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's you are gonna. Okay. They they will know what I'm talking about because they were with me and you weren't. When um, I just showed you in Rite Aid, they had some of these. Huh. This brand. And they had them laying on the the uh, shelf. I'm pretty sure it was that brand because uh, I read it out loud. I mean, I hopefully I videoed it now that I said that. Uh, but they had two of them, but they didn't have this one. They didn't have the one. No. That's cute. Thank you so much. I love it very much. I love everything. You all are so considerate, and you you listen to everything I say, and I appreciate that so much. I am going to in this video here for the week though, because um, I actually, I didn't do my cleaning on Wednesday. I did it today, today's Friday, because the people from Edwards are coming tomorrow. So um, I knew if I cleaned on Wednesday that I would just want to clean again today. Today, you know, if you want your house clean when people come. Especially if they're filming. Yeah, exactly. So what my hope is, is that I will be able to vlog tomorrow. And I'm hoping that if I'm too busy, that Kevin will pick up the camera and that Kevin will just, you know, start filming anything and everything that he sees because, um, so, you know, if I'm busy doing something with them, then I, I just might not have the opportunity at all to vlog. So my hope is to have a completely separate Edwards video uh, for you all. So, and for me to look back on, because for me, you know, this is a once in a lifetime thing. This is totally cool for me. Um, so, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you had a great week. Thank you very, very much, and we'll see you next week.